if I can get this to work for me. Let's see if I can get this to work for me. Nothing has been working for me thus far today. Okay? Thus far today, probably nothing has been working properly. So, I need to do something that's going to be print and cut. And since I want to do some print and cut, let's do this like this false right here. Let's do her. Yeah. She'll make it quick and easy. Because I just need to test this cut feature. Okay, so there we go. We can cut around all the outside of that. All I want to do is just cut around the outside of this. Let's see what that is. That's the one we need to have on then. And not this one. Okay. So we got registration marks. Let's go back over in here. Let's figure out what's going on with this machine. So I got this image right here. Oh, did I move it? I sure did. I got this image right here. Let me go in and set up my paper settings. Um, so it's set on a 15 by 15 right now. But I need to print this. And so my media is going to be letter size. That's what we're going to be using. Media is going to be letter size. And this whole thing here needs to fit within the letter size for me to do my testing. Okay. So it doesn't have to be very big at all. I oh, do want it to be a decent size. Y'all know what? Let me just, I need to grab this whole thing here and just, uh, nope. I need to group it. Okay. That way when I touch it, it doesn't move. So we got registration marks over here. And first, this screen is too dark for me today. Let me go in here, honey, and switch out this display. Um, current theme is dark gray, background color. I want my background color to be light. And let me hit OK. That's going, that's a lot better for me. This right here could be darker. Let's see if we can make over here this page border. Let's make it a little bit darker. No, no, no. That wasn't what I needed. Leave it to me. I'll just make that page color white. Oh, that white does not work. I tell you, I'm having a hard time today. Hard, hard time today on everything that I do. Okay. I better leave that page color kind of a grayish look so that I can know what color it is, right? I'll leave that the way it is. Okay. So if your cameo is not working like mine, Jesus. So we got the design here. It is 8 by 5. And I need to change out these registration marks over here. Um, I want them on, but I also want them to be thick. See when I move that one to be nice and thick. And I'm going to push this out because it's just too close to my design for me. Just too, too close. Okay, so that's all I need for that. Now I should be able to send this over here to, well, actually, I don't need to send it right now. I need to make sure that everything is going to print the way I want it to, but I need to print it. 
So what I'm gonna do, let's see. We're not gonna print this on. Um I'm just gonna print this. You know what? I haven't used my echo solvent printer. So I guess I will print this using my echo solvent printer. So because that's the printer that matters. And I guess I'm gonna use some plain white paper to print it with. I'll use it and then I won't use it in a few days and so you know who knows and a half by 11 the cut mat let me see here y'all need to hit show cut border show print border is what I need And I'm not seeing the print border probably because, okay, so there's the print border. There's the border there and the print border goes all the way around the outer edges. So I'm good to go. Let's get this top and see what's going on. See what is going on here. Okay, so here is the job. scroll down so it's all gonna fit I'm just gonna go in here I'm gonna print it print it over to that echo solid printer that says offline so that's not the one I still have not went in and renamed these y'all since I had to go in and reset everything uh, 2720 2720 might be this one I guess I didn't go back in and uh, give it a name for echo solid so go here I'm not really worried about um, how it's gonna print because it's just plain paper in here for me to do the testing with so I'm just gonna test it hit print and see what happens gone live quite a bit today because today is probably today and tomorrow are like my only two days that I have to deal with this type of stuff so I gotta do all my troubleshooting today and tomorrow preferably if I was able to get everything done that I want done today that would be great And looks like um, I need to do a head cleaning, and I will, but right now, I'm trying to get it out, All right? That's my goal and my purpose, is to get it cut out. Paper setting is really, really... Um, paper is really really thin so you know you gotta be careful so I'm gonna set this up let's just set this up to print like I said this needs this head needs to be cleaned on there and I'm gonna go ahead and set it to clean uh, but I'm gonna lock that down leave that in there over there and do a head cleaning while I'm waiting like that. Make sure that this is going to come out. Pop this out and change this blade. So 
I never print on with plain paper, so I have no idea what that setting is going to be. Okay, so here we go. Why do we have that purple checked? We don't need that purple checked. All we want to do is to print this outline, and we need to see if we can get this machine to recognize it. And of course, everything is saying it is on a fail. It says five devices found and all of them are unavailable. Okay, it says Bluetooth unavailable. So, let's go over here to settings and check for the Bluetooth uh, real quick and see what's going on with okay Sam Bluetooth not connected I'm gonna turn the Bluetooth off and turn it back on I don't know I don't know if there's been an update or what To these settings. Well, that's popping up. I'm going to click on this more information. So it's not even. Bluetooth, y'all. There we go. So let's hit that Cameo Plus and see if we can get it to connect. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay. That was, looks like it was easy, so now what's the problem? Now what is the problem? What is the problem? Okay, right here it says it's connecting. So, I guess I'm just moving too fast. Whew, I tell y'all. Guess I am just moving too fast for it today. Okay, so I'm going to see if this thing registers and I'm going to try to figure out what's going on that's causing it not to register because it's just been going there sitting. I haven't used it in about a week, so I need to figure out was it just a glitch in the system or what was it that was going down. And we didn't flip it, so we're just going to send it as is and I will see if it recognizes it and it's not recognizing it so that's fine let's go up y'all sometimes when print is real light it won't recognize it but I don't think that that's the problem I don't think that is the problem at all okay so I just put the number one head over the square box and in the software, I don't remember, maybe this is what I forgot last week. Um, I am going to uncheck this automatic and check on manual 
and then I'm going to hit register and see if that registers this image. It's looking for it. It's looking for it. That was it. That was it, y'all. So, what it was is I forgot to switch that over to manual. Hippity do do da day. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, something going right for the tea bags today. Finally. Are we finally getting something right up in here today? My goodness. Oh, it has been a challenge. It's noise compression on. And Man. Oh, maybe I can feel vindicated. I finally got something going on. Now, if this just cuts properly, that will be absolutely great. Okay? If it just cuts properly, that will be great. Hello. Happens so much to me. Y'all just don't know. Let's see. So didn't set any particular settings for this or anything i'm just trying to see if it's going to cut around the outer edge and cutting on paper i've never cut anything on paper but honey them settings don't pull it oh i'm back oh honey tea baby is back and she is in full effect thank you lord I didn't know what was going on. He should let me do something right today. And let's see, did it cut that little piece in there? Y'all, I done cut this paper thing. And it did. It even cut that little piece of white there. Honey, the girl has made a comeback. Ta da! My cutter is working. Note to self. If your cameo does not register on automatically, change the button there and make it say uh, manual. 